for him because sure. when he comes over, we really don't talk about situations of, of this nature. But I think he wants to get the uh, the same respect and uh, I guess I would say um, right to speak on situations as uh, other players. Um, Being. Um, hmm. <laughs> Is that fair? I'm not saying that. Um, <laughs> Like I'll, I'll let I'll let Antonio you like he said he would speak on that situation if that time came and he wanted to, okay. um, but you know I feel like the whole like situation has just got to a point to where I think is unrepairable. Um, uh, you know, like you said, you had Art, you know, Mr. Rooney come out and say that you know he doesn't you know see him there in the, uh, you know in training camp, mm -hmm. and um, winning covers up a lot of things. And right now, the team didn't win. They didn't make the playoffs. So now, anything that isn't status quo as what you would normally see in other teams is being brought out, is being pointed out, mm. and now it's becoming an issue because, like you said, winning covers up a lot. Mm. It's time to move on. A.B. needs to be somewhere where he feels respected and he's willing to give respect to the head coach. And I'm not talking about Ben's situation because the Ben situation is out of line. And I always felt that, Skip. I felt that when Ben called him out and said, well, Antonio, the route, he ran the route wrong, you never do that. Because I believe Ben could have said the same, exact, what he said publicly to keep the, and, and kept the peace, he could have said privately. Mm -hmm. Because that's what that would have done. Because now he's saying, oh, you threw the interception. It's my fault. Yeah. So that's what Ben was saying, because Ben is always trying to escape blame. Now, Ben, quick, oh, finger pointing Ben. Mm -hmm. He's the worst leader you could possibly have, because this is what you need to happen. You need your best players to be your best leaders. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, everybody else will fall in line. There's, a, there's one reason New England has enjoyed this success. Not only is Tom Brady that, that great. That is a fact, and you know this oh, yeah. as well as anybody. No question. Yeah. Not only is he great. He He's your hardest worker, he and he, he says, I need, he always say, I need to play better. Yeah. There are things we need to do. He's, not, he's a good soldier, too. He's not that soldier, I wanted, yeah. what happened last year, Skip, yeah. against New England? Todd Haley, well, they wanted me to spike it, and I didn't want to spike it. No. He, uh, I didn't agree with the call. Antonio ran the wrong route. So, Antonio, it's time's up. And sometimes, Skip, you just wear out your welcome in a place. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It happens. Hmm. Antonio Brown needs to be somewhere else where a change of scenery would do him good. He has to start over, and he'll give respect no matter where he goes. I believe, you know, if he goes to San Francisco, and I know Kyle Shanahan because I played for his, yep. uh, his, his dad, Mike, mm -hmm. for a number of years, mm -hmm. he'll command his respect. But what he will do, he'll put Antonio in a situation, and this is the way Mike has always been. The number one guy is going to get his attempts. And I felt that being it, it – Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just see things, but maybe I'm just an old football player. But I see it feels to me that Ben went out of his way to make Juju, make sure Juju had a few more catches, a few more yards to put Antonio like, I, look, I really control this situation. You, know, you might be right, but strategically. Hey, DJ, don't look at me like that, see? I'm not looking I, at you. Don't, don't look at me like I'm that. watching you. Okay. I'm just I'm paying attention to what you're saying. I'm listening to you. I'm trying to, I wasn't there. I'm trying to see if yeah. that, that sound like, okay, I don't know. But, but obviously... <laughs> Antonio is better than Juju. Yeah. He's got more mm -hmm. resume than Juju. Yeah. So obviously he was drawing more double team than Juju, and so mm -hmm. it was strategically probably optimal to say, I need to get him the ball more in single coverage, think right? About, right? Skip, think about right. when they didn't have Juju, and AB caught 138 balls. They didn't have Juju. Antonio caught 129 okay, balls. that's fair. So if you want to get somebody, the one well, thing. Well, it's like Michael Thomas. Sometimes you just can't cover him. I don't know. He's all you got, and you just can't. You can triple him, and you can't stop him. If I want to get you the balls, can I can get it to you. Yeah. If I okay. want to. So what do you believe from what you heard from your friend, Antonio? You're mm -hmm. kind of a mentor, big brother to him. Mm -hmm. what, what do you believe about the speculation that maybe Juju being voted the MVP, MVP of the mm -hmm. team just stuck in Antonio's craw and caused this this final game. I, I wouldn't issue. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it would have caused something like this, but at the end of the day, I think it may have rubbed him, you know, a little wrong, mm -hmm. a little raw, because like you said, he is the one drawing doubles. He mm -hmm. is the one, sure. you know, making situations easier for for Juju to be mm -hmm. able to get uh, you know, the balls and the and the, and the yards that he got. So I think he may have been a little felt a little slighted by it, but at the end of the day, I don't think that's the number one thing that, that caused all this. Like I said, it's a whole big situation that has just balled up into one huge okay. boulder. As far as you know, does he get along with Juju okay? Yeah. 
Okay, Pardon? so that's not a pro they're not clashing personally in the locker room not as far as you know. Yeah. Okay, so you realize he's still got two years left on his Pittsburgh deal. Mm -hmm. The money falls some; it's fifteen million, then eleven million. So he got the upfront. He got right. his nineteen million. It was it was a good deal. Yeah. And you, you were not sold on giving him the deal to start with. After well, the, I felt they should move on because I knew this was going to be a problem. I just felt they should move that on. That was off the Facebook live Facebook in the locker room in Kansas City. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, definitely. Did you have issue with that, or what did you hear? Oh, yeah, about I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't think it was nowhere near close to the right thing to do. Okay. Wrong situation, terrible Fair timing. Yeah. This is just my gut feeling, and I agree with everything you just said and you just said. And it is time to part ways. I don't think the Steelers are gutsy enough to part ways. I think they're too afraid of how good he still is, and he's going to be 31 next year. So it's not like he's a young oh, he pup years, anymore. He got, years, right. he got okay? years to go. But it feels to me like Art Rooney would be afraid to let him go, unless somebody would just bowl them over with with, with the first rounder or something, you know, because you're going to have to trade for him. You yeah. know, the 49ers yeah. Yeah, somebody have to give a second round, second round pick, okay. or maybe a second on the fourth. But maybe a pick. high first, you'd say, oh, God, I just got to do that. But from what I read in Art Rooney's, like, between the lines quotes, he did say, at some point, maybe Antonio drops by the office and we sit down and talk this through and we kind of see where his head's Antonio at. Well, that didn't sound like the door was slammed. Hey, uh, let's, uh, well, let's he, said, he said everything uh, was on the table but releasing him. So. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he came back with the, he didn't see him there in training camp. So that if you don't see him there in training camp, yeah. then you don't see him there. Yeah. yeah, but then he was talking out of both sides of his mouth. I'm not sure. Oh, this, this, I, I think it comes to this. Like you said, if they can't get what they want for yeah. him, then we're going to try and mend this and do what we can to try and make this situation they're, they're, right. But their way is to mend. They try to mend. They try to keep yeah. it together. Well, you can mend it if, yeah. you, if you let Ben go, if you trade Ben. Want to bet against that? That's not, not going to happen. But Ben is the issue. That's the big, okay, that's but the who, but who issue. always wins between the, the quarterback, quarterback and always the receiver? Wins. Always I'm just wins. telling you, that, Skip, I, look, I'm not in the locker room. I don't talk to anybody in the locker room. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you about a guy that's been in the locker room and has been a receiver. Mm -hmm. The issue is Ben Roethlisberger. I got you. And his I, I don't disagree. Ways. I got it. Another issue mm -hmm. was it might have not been the, 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 the coup de grace mm -hmm. of this, but Antonio feels betrayed by his teammates because he said, y'all see me out here getting these double teams. Y'all see what I'm doing every single week. Oh, so y'all just gonna disregard my hard work mm -hmm. and go? Okay, I see what I, I, that's how y'all want. That's how y'all gonna do. Okay, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. We good. Mm -hmm. So describe Antonio that you know. If if you had to tell somebody who'd never met him, d describe what he's like as just a guy. What, what, how do you? He's see a good him? dude, man. He a hard worker. Yeah. Like you said, he's gonna grind. He's gonna go out there and give you everything he got. Um, you know, but at the same time, he's a receiver. You know, he he's gonna want his number <laughs> of catches. He's gonna want his number of yards. And, you know, he's going to want all the accolades to come along with that. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's A.B. in a nutshell. Can he be a little thin-skinned? Can he take it a little hard personally when something, you know, when he feels slighted? Uh, personally, I don't, I guess I would have to say at times everybody can be. Yes, so, sure. yeah, he could. Yeah. Definitely. It depend depending on the situation and, you know, know what is going on that led to the whole, you know, of it becoming a head. Uh, yeah, definitely. So what do you know of his relationship or lack thereof with the head coach? Um, that is a relationship that, like I said, it's it's uh, it's a situation where he lets or allows certain things to, to go Man. on because of. Uh, you know, the, the player that he is and, and what he, you know, gives to the team. You know, mm -hmm. Tomlin has a saying that, you know, he's going to treat everybody fair, but he's not going to treat everybody the same. <laughs> exactly. So, Nor yeah. should he. So, huh. with, you know, with that, with that being said, you know, you give an inch, some people will take a foot. You give a foot, some people will take a yard. Mm -hmm. And I think it's got to that situation yeah. now where, you know, he's allowed so much and now he's trying to back it off to... And it is you, right. You can't do it. And now that you're not winning, all of that now comes out. Let know? me tell you what the really great ones do, Skip. Mm -hmm. When they know they have privileges from the head coach and the organization, mm -hmm. they don't take advantage of them. Mm. That's what the really good ones do. Mm. Shannon Sharp know he was treated differently. Mm -hmm. so, did, so did John Elway. So did Terrell Davis. But we were on meetings on time. Mm -hmm. Not because, well, well if we're late a couple of minutes, Mike's going to forgive it. If we don't show up on time to the plane, Mike's going to forgive it but you set the precedent for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's watching what Shannon does, mm -hmm. what John Elway, what Terrell Davis, what Ross. They're watching. Because mm -hmm. guess what? Those young guys in that locker room, one day they're going to be the five-year yeah, vets. Mm -hmm. They're going to be the eight-year vets. And if they saw you do it in year eight, mm -hmm. year 10, 
What do you think they're going to do? I can't wait till I get to year eight, year 10, because mm-hmm. I'm sure going to show up late. Yep. That's just the way it works. And that's what has happened. Coach Tommy has let these guys skate on some issues. He has. And because they're good, he let them skate too far. And now they're too far out there for you to rescue. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're saying just these guys. It's been other guys no, no, that I'm has, just, no. you know what I'm saying? It's just that it wasn't, you know, Le'Veon Bell. It right. wasn't Antonio Brown, you know. Like, they, they made a big deal when Le'Veon missed, like, a walkthrough on Saturday. Right. Well, I know another guy that missed it, but you never heard him <laughs> drop about it. Uh-huh. But... Mm. That that that's because it was Le'Veon Bell and they were going through their situation and they were trying to make him look bad. Could have got so, it missing. Could he throw the ball? Let's let it out. Excuse me. Could have got it missed. That could he throw the ball? No, he couldn't. Mm. Not a oh. drop. <laughs> oh, wasn't even a starter. Yeah. Oh. But that's what happened. All right. But whose fault was that? Mike. Like I say, Mike, you, you got to put that in check. Okay. Though, right? Speaking of Mike, I said for years on TV from a distance. I like him because I like his press conferences mm-hmm. pre and post game. Sure. He he just he he makes me feel like I want to play for that guy. I did not love the way he treated you in the end in Pittsburgh, which led to your parting ways. Mm -hmm. But is it possible that he's run his course in Pittsburgh and he needs a change of scenery? Because I still think he's a really good head coach. Yeah, I think I think I think he's a good head coach. Um, I don't I don't I I wouldn't put him as great because, uh, you know, I feel like a great coach takes good players and does great things with them. Mm -hmm. I think I think he has great players over there and he hasn't done good things with him this year um Mm. so you know with the roster and and the guys that he's had over there i think they should have been a a little further along my feeling is this the more control or the more that he has Mm -hmm. to do with what goes on around there i feel like the further the team is getting away from the goal of a super bowl Mm. Um, i feel like the more he gets like his people in place and the more he gets the people that he wants there I feel like they're they're getting further away from the goal. That's just my feeling. Why can't I mean Mike Tomlin is a defensive guy? Why can't the def, Why isn't the defense better than what it what it is? Why isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's something. You that's his do. side of the ball. That is his side of the ball. That is no question about it. Um, and he has a lot of say on that. So, you know, that's the big thing. Like everybody wants to jump on on Butler. Um, you know, Coach Butts is... Well, at first it was the other guy that got... They ran up out of town. Uh, right. Uh, your guy. What's the guy? The D coordinator that he went to... In a, Dick, Dick LeBeau. 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 Yeah. At first it was him because his own yeah. list, you know, it was right. all good. So they got him up out well, of town. Well, I, I felt like that the, the Dick LeBeau situation was uh, a move to try and, like you said, get him out of there. So Tom put guy. more of his hand mm-hmm. into it. And it... Uh, like I said, Coach Butler, is he's a, he's a great coach, but... I don't feel like he's got, at least from when I was there, he didn't get the chance to decoordinate and actually do the job. Mm. He had it in title. That's oh, but why you said you, Mike Tomlin do? Mike Tomlin's hand is in a lot of that. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, and that's why I believe you haven't seen a change on the defensive side of the ball too much other than letting guys go that, you know, their, their contracts are up mm. because he has so much of a hand in that, in that defense. He let mm. Peasy go. Mm. It feels like all the offense. I know why he let Peasy go. Need to be figured out. Mm-hmm. Before you they know I know why he let Peasy go, though. Mm-hmm. Why he let Peasy go? You know why he let Peasy go. I don't know. You're having this side. Didn't even let Peasy go. Sure. What about Peasy and Big Ben? What happened? I don't know. Oh, okay. Mm. I wasn't there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what he's thinking? Uh, I don't know what he's talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Tell the truth, James. Okay, it's good to have you, and it's good mm-hmm. to have you for this next one. Yep. I 